a Saturday morning, as I mentioned before the break, the bombing in Boston and the capture of the suspects, not the only major story we're following this morning. A powerful earthquake hit China today, leaving at least 113 people dead, thousands of others injured. NBC's Ian Williams is in Beijing. Ian, good morning. What can you tell us? Matt, good morning. This quake hit shortly after 8 a.m. this morning. And don't forget, this is almost five years uh, next month when that devastating earthquake hit Sichuan province, the same area, and left tens of thousands dead. Now, this quake was about 70 miles from the regional capital, Chengdu, at a depth of only eight miles, which meant that the strength was really magnified. It was in a rural area, so the capacity to cause damage was not as great as that quake five years ago. Now, the figures at the moment say at least 100 dead, at least 2,000 injured. Those figures are likely to grow over the next few hours since some of the areas remain cut off. Soldiers have been sent in, rescue teams. We are hearing reports of people being pulled out of collapsed buildings. Now, unlike five years ago, when entire towns were devastated, tall buildings just collapsed. This time, those rural areas, the buildings are mainly smaller, one or two-story buildings. But still, the damage does seem to be extensive. The information, the figures are still coming in. We're still trying to establish the magnitude of the, of, of the casualties, which, as I say, are expected to rise over, over the coming hours for what According to, to Chinese sources, it's a 7.0 quake, 6.6 .6 according to the U.S. Geological Survey. Either way, a big quake that has caused extensive damage down there, Matt. All right, Ian Williams in Beijing this morning on another tragic story.